this day forward, it won't be Matthias, it won't be Madeline, but it'll be Matthias and Madeline. This is only the second time I've laid eyes on Matthias, but I fell in love with him the first time I met him. I felt his heart, I felt his soul, I felt his love for Madeline. And so as a grandfather, we have a thankful heart today. I still remember the exact moment when I met you. We were busy trying to prepare for Isaac's wedding on Easter Sunday when you showed up. You had taken a few moments to walk the venue before approaching anyone. You walked up and introduced yourself. I remember being a little shocked this beautiful young girl was actually the photographer for the wedding. Little did I know that my wife had just walked into my life. Over the next few weeks, I somehow convinced you to come hang out with me. As I got to know you, I realized those feelings were starting to go stronger. And to be honest, at first it really did not make sense. All I could think was, this girl and I have hardly anything in common. But, like I said, my feelings grew stronger. This is not simply because of how beautiful you are, but I could truly see how genuine you are. You are the kindest person I've ever met. Not just to me, but to anyone you know or anyone you've even just met. You are so ambitious. I love watching you every day as you push yourself with every aspect of your life. You are a dreamer, but because of your ambition, I've seen you achieve these dreams time after time. And finally, you love the Lord with your entire heart. For me, this is the most important part. I'm so encouraged watching you with your relationship with Christ. I'm so thankful that I will always be the man that walks with you as we strengthen our relationship with Christ and each other every day. Madeline, you are not the girl I ever imagined I would be with, but I thank God every day for this reason. He gave me someone that is so much better than I ever could have imagined. I love you, Madeline. I love you so much more than words could ever explain, but I will try each day. I choose you, Madeline, because I love you, and I choose you every day for the rest of my life. When you asked me to dance, I nervously giggled because I hadn't ever danced to the wedding I was working before. I'm used to getting hit on by groomsmen, but you were different. You made an impression on me, more from that dance than most grooms make in entire wedding days. Still, I left in my usual hurry once the bride and groom zoomed off and didn't even catch your full name. I went a couple weeks thinking you were Matthias Thomas. What I had for you wasn't love at first sight or second or third, but one day I woke up and I knew that I loved you and that I didn't want to be away from you for one second. You're the steady to my flighty the strength and my weaknesses and the best friend I want to call and share my experiences with. The man I want to be held by and cherished by and loved by. From the very beginning you guarded my heart. You respected me and my wishes and my boundaries. You're honorable and you love Jesus in such a beautiful and true way. It took me traveling across the Atlantic to realize that I don't want to be away from you. My biggest dreams, and my family will testify this, have always been to gain experiences. I'm not a girl that cares about stuff or things. I care about doing, but I no longer dream of doing or having experiences if it doesn't include you. I'd rather live in a little tiny apartment in the armpit of Texas, Lubbock, <laughs> <laughs> with the man who loves me unconditionally than travel the whole world. And I know that someday you're going to be my traveling partner and I'm so excited about that. You'll be the wonderful one to share the hugeness of this goodness darn beautiful life. I promise to love you forever to follow you wherever you go, to honor you and respect you. I will lavish you and adore you with words and kisses every day. You're bigger than any dream I could ever have in Matthias. You were crazy enough to have a five day engagement with me and that's evidence of how perfect we are. I love you and I'm happy to be your bride.